Good, Good morning, morning y'all. Well, we are still in the state of Delaware and currently we're in the town of Odessa. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're here is there are several old homes in Odessa along this historic district. The one, the first one here that we've stopped at, but we're not doing the tour, we're just walking around looking at them. This is the January house and it was built in 1772. So we're gonna be strolling along taking some pictures as we go and and posting those later within the video so come explore the town the historic town of odessa with us and this house is even older than the january house this one was from 1740. it's a frame and log home and they've painted it but you can see the individual logs in the home it's it's had some work done on it but it's a really beautiful home i also like the sidewalks they're all brick and the rain gutters in the street along with some of the driveways like the one sarah's coming from are cobblestone and field stones at the entrance Brick-lined sidewalks that run down the main street in Odessa are a stark contrast to our modern-day concrete sidewalks. In 1822, Cantwell's Bridge and Hotel and Tavern was a classy hotel built by William Polk in the well-known port town of Cantwell's Bridge. The hotel and tavern was visited by many merchants, ship captains, and visitors looking for comfortable lodging and delicious food. The hotel is now a gathering place for locals and visitors where they can rest and relax after a day of touring. I love these wide board fences. That's an old well. That, um, it's an old wooden well which was like the center of town. Oh, okay. Corbett Sharp House is designated as part of the Harriet Tubman Underground Railroad Byway um, of the National Park Service. The William Corbett was the town's leading citizen. He operated a tannery on the Appaquinimic Creek. The house remained in the Corbett family until 1938 when someone else acquired it. Um, it's a fine example of the Philadelphia Georgian style brickwork. This 13 room brick Georgian house became one of Delaware's first house museums. The Corbett Cabus house represents two construction periods. The right portion of the house was originally built in the late 18th century as a side hall federal style structure. The left portion, with its two-story bay, was added in the late 19th century and represents the popular Queen Anne style. This beautiful historic home has approximately 3,250 square feet, five bedrooms and two baths. The property was last sold for $420,000 in 2017 and it currently has an estimated value of $204,000. We saw many beautiful historic homes in Odessa. If you'd like more information on them, you can visit the Historic Odessa Foundation at historicodessa.org or click on the link in the description below.
Well, we've about finished our walking tour of the historic homes of Odessa here in Delaware. And we're standing out in front of the visitor center that was one of the banks in town. And it's, it's now the visitor center and has the foundation offices in it. And this is where, if you're here Tuesday through Saturday, this is where you can do a walking tour and get information and, and they give guided tours of uh, the historic homes. I think there are four or five homes on the guided tour list mm -hmm. that you can the, go inside. The, the um, tours are $10 for adults. And as you can probably tell, we are perspiring. Just a little bit. It's quite humid and hot here today. And we thought when we left Florida and came to Delaware, we were going to escape this, but it is 91 or 92 degrees outside here today and about as humid as it is in Florida. Yeah, just about. So, what's up, Delaware? <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we've enjoyed the walking tour and the history that we found online. And, you know, like uh, somebody else that we know says, it was our favorite price. It was free 99. Free 99, that's right. Welcome to Reedy Point Bridge. This bridge is located about a mile from the east end of the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal on Highway 9 near Delaware City. The views from this bridge are quite spectacular. The Cantilever Bridge, opened in 1968, is 8,432 feet long and towers 135 feet above the Chesapeake and Delaware Canal. Let's take a side trip along the shores of this canal. Sometimes you find those hidden gems um, that we talk about so much and today is another one of those hidden gem days. Yesterday we traveled down Highway 9 South and we went across this bridge over the Delaware Chesapeake Canal and I didn't get a video of it the first time we went over so today we came back and we went over the bridge again. Uh, but this time, instead of just going on our way, we turned down the side road and came down here to actually look at the uh, Delaware Chesapeake Canal, or Chesapeake Delaware Canal is the proper way to say it. And it's still used for all kinds of uh, maritime traffic. You can see the uh, boat coming down the canal. Um, so let me just turn around and give you a view of this bridge. And we went and went, when we went across it the first time, I just, I didn't have my video camera running and I just thought it was an awesome view. So we had to come back across it today. We weren't quite sure what the military vehicles were doing, maybe a National Guard training exercise, but I did get a good shot of this heron flying over the canal. All right. Okay, so, some little unknown or little known facts about Delaware. The name came from, it got its name from the Delaware River, which in turn got its name from uh, Thomas, Thomas West. West, who was the third Baron de la War, which means governor of Virginia. So, De La War translated into Delaware, and so the state was basically named after the governor of Virginia back in the 1600s. Another little known fact about uh, Delaware that we just learned, what, yesterday, yep. is that this is a um, state-free tax. Tax-free state. Tax-free state. Okay, I knew that didn't sound right. Say it again. This is a... This is a tax-free state so when you go into the stores you don't have to pay any sales tax the price is comes out is whatever the price you pay <laughs> and so that applies to anything you buy in the state there's even no gas tax isn't that amazing it is it is so that's one of the reasons that before we leave here we're going to fill up right Another uh, fact about Delaware is that they are the first state in the original colonies to ratify the U.S. Constitution. 
that's why Delaware's um, slogan is the, the first, first state. state. Right. I probably shouldn't say anything about Biden. <laughs> no. uh, President Biden is from Delaware, and a lot of people in Delaware are proud of that fact, as uh, anyone should be. The Chesapeake and Delaware Canal, as Sarah said, is still used for maritime travel and it's part of the intercoastal waterway that goes all the way up the east coast of the United States. It runs from, of course, the Delaware River to the Chesapeake Bay, which goes on out into the Atlantic Ocean. Right. All right, so again, one more view of this beautiful bridge. It was just as pretty going over it as it was, as it is standing and looking at it. So, till later, we'll say bye, bye y'all. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, The Go With The Flow Couple. Be sure to leave us a comment below. Bye, y'all.